for a lovely block of colour on stage or as part of a uh, cultural event or outdoor event, a Kaliji tableau is an excellent idea. And the movements are reasonably simple, so you can get a large number of people to take part. You might think the sticking point is the thobes, the costumes. But in actual fact, it's quite easy to make a Kaliji dress, and I'll show you how now. Hi, I'm Kashmir, and many years ago, my troupe had a problem. We wanted to do a Kaliji presentation, but we didn't have any of the costumes. Well, not quite right. We had one. We had one Kaliji thobe. Um, I'd been to a workshop in, in uh, Sydney and I was really keen to give it a go. But we couldn't get any more. These days it's quite different, but at the time mm, it was actually very hard. So I reverse engineered the one thobe that we had. And it turned out to be quite a simple way to put it together. I then made the mistake of sticking it on the internet. So you'll now find my pattern all over the internet in its little rough drawing form, um, but never mind. What I was a little bit more annoyed about though is a teacher who actually gave a workshop on how to make Kaliji thobes and used my reverse engineered piece of paper. One of my students brought it along to class and said, oh look, this is what mm, gave me, isn't that great? Yes, it is. Very well done, I see. If you want to find the pattern, it is on my website down there, and you'll see on the left hand side is the actual pattern, on the right hand side is the layout. I don't think the teacher had the layout, but that's that's beside the point. So just to recap, the Kaliji Thobe is worn by women in the Gulf. I've done a video about that earlier, and the style of dance. And it is a modesty garment, so you are meant to wear clothes underneath it, a dress, okay, not just underwear. You can also wear a costume um, underneath it and you'll often see professional dancers will actually st do a set with the thobe on and then come out to the sleeve and reveal their costume and away they go. So the thobe has uh, some obvious parts. One is the, the front panel. So the front panel, what we call the front panel, actually goes all the way over to the back and that is the one that is most richly embroidered. There's a back panel which is actually exactly the same shape which is the reason why at the front it just barely covers the feet and at the back it drags along the ground. This is meant to happen. You are meant to be dragging it along the ground. That is normal, okay? When you dance, you can hitch it up a little bit. The other thing is the sleeves. The sleeves are large and unshaped and big, okay? So that's, that's a metre through there. Um, and to join it all up, you have little side pieces. Now you can have gussets. If you know how to do gussets, put gussets in. If you don't know how to do gussets, no problem. We often made our Kaliji thobes out of saris because you've got the lovely embroidered piece at the front already. So we cut the embroidered bit up to make the front panel and the plainer bit actually makes the rest of the, of the thobe. So that's one way you can go. However, when I went to do a set of loners for my students, I didn't want to go to the expense of actually cutting up some really nice saris. So I went for something else. Okay, you can say this is looking really cheap and nasty. Yeah, well, it was quite cheap. So I have a piece of sparkly fabric, really cheap net with, with the sparkles on it, backed with a, another piece of cheap fabric and even cheaper side pieces. There's no fancy embroidery on the back, there's no fancy embroidery on the seams, it is just basically the thobe uh, with the panel. Now I did offer this to students to say that they could actually take them home and embroider them or fancy them up themselves, but most of them were quite happy just to hire them. On stage, those look better than this, okay? This is just a wee bit too mm, quiet. Those little sparkles catch the light, did really, really well. Right, so now Let's get on to the meat of it. Let's make a thobe. Let's assume that you have actually cut all the pieces out as per the instructions, and we are now going to put it together. I'm not going to do this on my sewing machine. 
you wouldn't see anything. There would be just fabric everywhere. I'm going to do it on paper and you should be able to see exactly what's going to happen. So first up, we sew together the front and back panel. Notice that the panels are the same length. So we put them together and at this point you may wish to do the, um, the hole, the neck hole and face it because at this stage you've got only a small amount of fabric to deal with a bit later and it becomes quite a bit trickier. Next you take the sleeves. So these are a two meter length of fabric. You fold them in half and put align the fold with the seam of the front and the back pieces. Sew them in. Finally, you put in the little side panels. that easy. Once you've got the basic shape you can then go ahead and hem it and decorate it. The level of decoration depends on yourself and how much time, energy and creativity you've got. Some of my students spent an awful lot of time making some really beautiful pieces of art. Of course if you want to do it traditionally I don't think you should actually have any recognizable animals or flowers on it but that's another story. At the end of it, you have a, a beautiful um, garment that you can use for your collegi tableaus and you can use it year after year. I found it was an audience pleaser, even though we often did the same thing for, you know, quite a few times, mostly the same audience. They always loved it when everyone came out with the colour. And even though the dance was simple, the music was interesting and the colour was beautiful. And if you don't have a Kaliti tableau in your show, you can use it as a cover-up. Okay, happy sewing!